we got a brand new report to dive into around the Chicago Bulls as an NBA insider said the Bulls are trying to get win now players. Yeah, you heard that correctly. My name is Patrick Seaman. Welcome into today's edition of the Bulls Report. We're going to be diving into this report, talk about some win now players that the Bulls could possibly get, and just overall talk about the Bulls is why I think this would be an absolute awful, awful idea. But let's dive into the report right now. This is what Michael Scott had to say. Uh, on a recent podcast, and this was the report that he came out with. He said, they're looking for players that can help them win now and maybe a pick down the line if they can add to their cupboard. And all I got to say this is three words right here. Why, why, and why? I that, that just makes no sense to me because, listen, if you are trying to get win now players, I'm sure you guys all know this. There's no breaking NBA analysis right now. You are probably contending for a championship, and you think that one player will get you over the top. The Bulls are so far from that, so that's why I continuously ask, why, why, and why? Because right here, the Bulls' record right now is 9-16. And, and I understand, they went on that little four-game win streak without Levine, but last night against the Denver Nuggets, a little bit of a back-to-reality moment for the Bulls when Jamal Murray didn't play and Nikola Jokic didn't play in the second half, and they ended up getting killed by the Denver Nuggets. I understand Kobe White, he's playing great. DeMar's on a little bit of a heater, and Vooch has played well. You know, the, some guys have played well, but the max potential of this team is nowhere near an NBA championship. So I just don't get that, and that's why I also get to this point. Just rip the freaking Band-Aid off at this point. Like, I just don't understand why this team just continuously just says, oh, we're just going to you know, run it back. Continuity, continuity, continuity. I hate that word at this point. But, um, yeah, just rip the Band-Aid off, man. Start this rebuild. Get draft picks. Get other young players. We're, we can just kind of be looking in a couple years and be like, look at what we built. Take the Oklahoma City Thunder route. Because right now the Bulls are stuck in the NBA purgatory where they're not good enough to compete, but you're also not bad enough to get a top, uh, top pick in the draft where that's normally when these franchise-changing franchise prospects, they come from the top five. Bulls just aren't you know, anywhere near that. But talking about the future here, because I do think the Bulls have pieces in place right now that I didn't necessarily think they did before the season that they could really build around. And these three guys have been playing very, very well since Levine has gone out. Patrick Williams, he was awful to start the season. He's really turned it around. His three-point shooting has impressed me. And also just his overall aggressive, uh, aggression has obviously really impressed uh, myself because I remember after he dunked on Bobby Portis, he was licking his fingertips, never seen that much emotion coming out of P-Dub. And then Io DeSumo, I know he had the infamous stat line where he had 0 0 0 and 0 against the Milwaukee Bucks, and people kind of clowned him on that. But he's been playing really well as of late. And also in that game, he locked up Damian Lillard pretty well uh, also. So Io has been playing obviously really good. And then this guy, I mean, Kobe White's averaging more than 26 a game over the last six games on 50% from uh, the field and over 50% from downtown. He's been absolutely playing his ass off, so I think he's been the number one kind of benefiter from Levine being out of the lineup. So you have guys you can, you know, you can play and get them more of an increased role if you were to move off some guys. So I just don't get why you'd want to bring in a win-now piece and hurt the development of these three. That's why all these bullish trade candidates um, that we've heard rumors about, like, I would be fine moving off every single one of these players. And honestly, if I was running the Bulls right now, I would 100% would. Levine, he's gone. There's no chance he will be on this team or finish this team with the Bulls. But there are reports coming out that the Levine market is a lot slimmer than most people think. DeMar, yes, he's on an expiring deal, but I think you could get a first-round pick from him. Vooch, you can't trade him until January 15th. Well, I also think you could get a first-round pick for Vooch. And we've always heard Caruso that you could possibly get two first. Let's just say you accumulate, you know, five first-round picks with trading all these guys and a couple young players do that. Yes, you are going to suck this season, but sometimes there's rain before sunshine, and I think that's what the Bulls need to do is go into the gutter a little bit and not necessarily just openly tank, but let these young guys develop. You'll win games, you'll get a higher draft pick, and start building from the bottom instead of just keep trying to just put a Band-Aid on, a open gash, and that's what they're doing, and it just drives me you know, freaking crazy. But I do want to ask you guys to subscribe. Just kind of went on a little bit of a rant there just because, just why? Like, why would the Bulls want to do that? And, you know, it would just absolutely drive me crazy. But I do think the Bulls, there will be a trade made. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Help us reach 5,000 subscribers. We only need 110 of you guys. So if there's 110 of you that are new to this channel, help me out here. We'll be posting videos all year round around the Bulls, especially near that trade deadline where I do think the Bulls will be obviously making a move. So help us out. Hit that subscribe button. Make me look good for my bosses here at Chat Sports as well. But coming up next here on the channel, 
what win now players could the Bulls be trading for? Because he kind of just came out that report and didn't really list anybody. So I'll be diving into five guys that I think could be uh, obviously considered a win now piece for the Bulls. But I do want to first give a huge shout out to Prize Picks. It's today's sponsor of today's edition of the Bulls Report. And if you guys go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use that promo code CLNS, you'll get a first deposit match up to $100. This is a lineup I'm rolling with tonight. The Knicks are taking on the Utah Jazz. So I'm going to be riding with more on Jalen Brunson assist at six and a half. I'm going to be going more on Julius Randle three pointers attempted at five. And then more on RJ Barrett three and a half free throws made. That's the lineup I'm rolling with. You guys can either fade my picks or ride with my picks. But make sure you guys do do it at Prize Picks. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS. And use that promo code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. I'll make sure to put that link for you guys in the comments section and the description of today's video so it's easy to find. But shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring today's show. So the number one potential trade target, I believe, if you want to consider a win now piece for the Bulls, is Pascal Siakam. We've heard the reports coming out of late that the Raptors are kind of uh, upset with kind of his play and he's a little upset with you know his role in Toronto. So what if the Bulls, if you are moving off Levine, what about just a straight-up swap? And you obviously throw in some guys that will fill in the contracts because I do think Levine would fit in well in Toronto. Uh, he's got a bunch of a long athletic wing defenders. They don't really have a three-level scorer, which he could obviously be for them. And then, honestly, if you Bulls, if you are trying to win games now, I think Siakam would actually be a pretty good fit with the rest of this unit. So Siakam won is that I would probably say he's very, very likely. But number two for me. Um, obviously, we've heard the Lakers are interested in um, Zach Levine. So D'Angelo Russell would be one of those guys as well. D'Lo, he's obviously a very, very underrated playmaker in the NBA. Um, honestly, I think he's just an underrated player in general. Obviously, he did struggle in the playoffs last season, so a lot of fans are low on him. But I'm a fan of him. But I honestly wouldn't bring him in, mainly because it would hurt the development of Io and Kobe White. So I'd say no to D'Lo. I would want a draft pick instead of him from the Lakers. Obviously, give me their 2029 20, first-round pick. That's the pick I want from L.A. But overall, D'Lo, you know, probably not. But this is also a whale of a trade. This would be a blockbuster trade, um, a whale of a trade. That's funny talking about Zion Williamson. If you guys know the latest reports, Stephen A. came out and said he'll eat everything on the table. So Zion's obviously struggled with his weight a little bit. <laughs> Tex is cracking up right now uh, for who's producing this show. I swear, Tex, Stephen A. came out and said people in um, New Orleans are talking about uh, Zion, that he will eat the entire table, and the Pelicans are not happy with him maintaining his weight. Um, listen, Zion is the ultimate, like, high-risk, high-reward type of player where you would trade for him because you would have to give up assets. Like, he was one of the most highly uh, touted uh, – uh, draft prospects that we have ever had in the NBA. And listen, I love Zion. He's a tremendous talent when he plays, but he's got health concerns, he's got weight concerns, and he just misses a lot of games. And you kind of start to question his love for the game of basketball if he's constantly showing up out of shape. So Zion, if it's Zion for Levine, I would obviously get excited, but really, really risky move. But number four for me, another Los Angeles Laker. And you know what, Tex, we can just loop in Austin Reeves and Rui on this one. There's two Lakers that close this one out. I would like these two players a whole lot more than D'Angelo Russell. Um, we can start off with Austin Reeves here. I love Austin Reeves' game. Uh, but also, what else do I know? I know the Lakers love his game as well. The Lakers aren't going to move off him. I can fully say that confidently. They think he can be the third best player on their championship team. And I agree with him because he has absolutely killed it. He had 28 points in the play-in championship. He's like 9 to 12 from the field. He's just that great role player. Now, in terms of Rui, I think they would be able to move off Rui. And I would actually love Rui on the Bulls. He's kind of that, you know, kind of a uh, poor man's Paolo Bancaro, I would describe him as. He can hit the three. He's a big physical player. can play that three, four, and maybe some small ball five. It would be really small ball five. But he can really guard the wing well. He's a tremendous scorer on the offensive side of the floor. So, I would love Rui, but again, I would rather go draft picks from the Lakers than a guy like that. Give me a trade of Rui, a salary filler, and two first-round picks for Levine. I would do that in a heartbeat because Rui would also just be a good connecting piece on offense. I think he wouldn't you know, take shots away from guys like P-Dub. I think he would actually just you know, help them out. But I'll get you guys involved to close out today's show. Obviously, the report came out. Should the Bulls trade for win-now players? Oh, should they? I'll ask you. Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no down in the comment section of what you would do if you were the Bulls GM and would you either just go fire sale or would you want to bring in win now players and try to win some games? As always, guys, one last reminder. Help me out. Hit that subscribe button. It's going to be a fire sale. 
here for the Bulls. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Any report that comes out, we got you just like we've had for the last month or so. So make sure you guys are subscribed. See you all next time. Go Bulls. Thank you.